Rome is the ultimate dream destination in Italy. History can be seen at every corner of the city. Its heart is basically an open-air museum, with impressive churches and Roman ruins every few meters. Let's find out together all of the things you should definitely not miss. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. Today, you'll discover the six best spots in Rome. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, and you're all set for a beautiful Italian trip. Number six, the Colosseum. The shape of the Colosseum is one of the most recognizable around the world. Vespasian began construction in 72 AD, and his son Titus expanded it by adding a fourth floor. It officially opened in 80 AD, with a series of magnificent games. The Colosseum was large enough for theatrical plays, festivals, and circuses, which were observed from the lowest level by the imperial court and top officials, the second by aristocratic Roman families, and the third and fourth by the general population. Panem et circensis is an old Latin common saying, meaning bread and games underlying how feeding and entertaining the people were the top priorities for the Roman Empire. You can visit what is left of the Colosseum by booking relatively cheap entry tickets, which are better bought in advance. The experience in the 20 centuries old arena is hugely fascinating. Number 5. The Pantheon The Pantheon, the best preserved Roman antique landmark, is amazingly intact after 2000 years. During the centuries, it went through some disasters and cannibalization. Still, today it is one of the spots you must go see in Rome. After being damaged by a fire in AD 80, the Pantheon was rebuilt, and the resulting brickwork demonstrates the extraordinary technical mastery of Roman builders. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III had the gilded bronze ceiling tiles removed. In the 17th century, Pope Urban VIII had the bronze roof scraped and melted down to cast the cannons for Castel San Angelo. Its 43-meter dome is suspended without visible supports that are well hidden within the walls, and its 9-meter central opening is the only light source in the building. If you have always wanted to visit an ancient temple, you will forever remember the Pantheon. Number 4. The Vatican City the Vatican is the world's smallest autonomous state, with an area of around half a square kilometer, most of which is surrounded by the Vatican walls and located in Rome's heart. The Vatican Palace and Gardens, St. Peter's Basilica, and St. Peter's Square are inside and are administered by the Pope, the highest leader of the Roman Catholic Church. Despite the small size, it is packed with landmarks and history making it one of the most visited places around the globe. Access to St. Peter is free, but be prepared for a very long queue. Inside St. Peter's Basilica are Michelangelo's masterwork Pietà and Bernini's and other artists' statues and altars. The size of the columns and the dome is incredible. The Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo's most renowned work, is undoubtedly the undisputed centerpiece of the Vatican Museums. But to witness the Last Judgment, remember to buy tickets well in advance. Number 3. Spanish Steps When visiting Rome, look for accommodation around the Via del Corso area. It will allow walking around the beautiful historical center and immersing yourself in a glorious mix of past and present. Shortly after Via Condotti, the most exciting shopping avenue in the city, the Spanish steps, made famous by several classic movies, won't go unnoticed. They are named after Piazza di Spagna, the piazza at its base and one of Rome's most famous squares. The steps have long been a tourist attraction, leading up to the Trinità de Monti Church, where you will have a wonderful view of Rome. The Barcaccia, a boat-shaped fountain at the foot of the Spanish Steps was designed by Pietro Bernini, father of the famed Baroque architect Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Number 2. Trastevere 
Tras de Vere is a lovely neighborhood on the opposite side of the Tiber River. It has been one of the city's 14 districts since the reign of Emperor Augustus, and several notable Romans, including Julius Caesar, constructed villas in this area. While it doesn't have many Roman ruins today, its tiny alleyways and medieval buildings are where you can feel the authentic Italian vibes. At night, the whole area comes alive, with many of the best restaurants in the city serving typical Roman dishes, such as Amatriciana, Carbonara, and Cacio e Pepe. In spring and summer, Trastevere is full of tourists. Still, despite that, the locals are happy to queue for a great pasta dish and a lovely evening in one of the city's best neighborhoods. Number 1. Trevi Fountain The Trevi Fountain is a 17th century masterpiece portrayed in many classic movies. Niccolo Salvi designed and built the fountain for Pope Clement XII between 1732 and 1751 against the rear walls of the Dukes of Poli's residence. It is fed by an aqueduct built by Agrippa, the renowned art patron of the 1st century BC, to provide water to his baths. The sculpture displays Neptune, the sea god, with horses, tritons, and shells. The details are impressive. The tip here is to visit the Trevi Fountain at night. Up until 2 a.m., you will find crowds admiring the lights and shadows over the sculptures and you will see many people throwing a penny into the fountain, a long-lasting ritual for good luck and wealth. Have you been to Italy? Let us know in the comment section below which other unique places you have visited. If you are planning a trip, feel free to ask your questions to our community. We are here to help every fellow traveler. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the following video. Ciao!